Okay. So welcome to this session on Rotary Networking Plus. Uh, what we're going to do here at the beginning with this small crowd and um, any others who short, sort of roll in is to uh, talk a little bit about what we do. And then uh, I'm going to walk you through the site quickly, give you a little input on how to register for it. And then I would like to brainstorm a bit with you, get a few ideas from you on what we can do to something I need to do really uh, as the sort of facilitator of the site to take it up a notch. So uh, we've just been chatting a bit with uh, Penny. She's a new member, Abbotsford Matsqui, and uh, retired from a number of things, but making time in her. How did you get to Rotary? Tell us a little bit about that. My brother is a member of a Vancouver club. Uh -huh. And I've been away from, I grew up in Agassiz, but I've been away for 30 years. And I just moved into Abbotsford. And he said to me, why don't you join Rotary? Because now that I'm here, I, yeah, what am I doing with myself? And I thought, well, it would be a good way to give back and to meet people. And that's why I joined. Okay. Good. My, yeah. All right. Um, Bassie, did I see a note from you? Uh, are you going to join us as well? Turn your camera on so we can see you. Nash, how about you? Tell us a little bit about uh, what club you're in, White Rock. Tell us a bit about your business. Oh, uh, yeah, so I'm with the White Rock Club. Um, I have a, a, an awards and recognition business. Uh, we do a lot of like, uh, a lot of corporate events. Uh, we do uh, a lot of apparel, um, including signage and full color sublimation. So we can take an image and, and apply it to uh, a piece of metal, not onto paper or cardboard, so it lasts a lot longer and whatnot. So, yeah. Great. Uh, and business through this pandemic period, how's it been going for you? It's been a very long stay vacation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I, 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 now it's starting to pick up quite a bit, but uh, because our, our main focus was sports, so we were doing a lot of like soccer and football and uh, baseball and that kind of thing. So, yeah. Okay. Well, let's hope it picks up for you. Yeah. O'Rourke's, tell us a bit about yourselves. South Surrey. Yeah, we got to get that. Now you're muted. I'm going to advertise for them. This is the work they're doing on my place. A rotary meeting room just set to be uh, set to be shared once the pandemic is over. That's right. There you are, Gardra. <laughs> oh, your mic's on again or off again. She's not usually the silent type. I wonder about that. Must be Brian. He's talking too much. <laughs> well, they can hear her. <laughs> Can't find the right button, hey? Down on the left-hand corner there. It should be sitting down there, a little microphone, right in the left-hand corner at the bottom. Ah, okay. There you are. Sorry, guys. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm not muted. You're not muted now. So oh, can you hear me now? We can, indeed. Tell us a bit about your Sorry. business. Sorry. Go ahead. Tell us a bit about your business, Deirdre. Well, we've got Shamrock Renovation and Construction, and uh, it's over 40 years going. I, uh, Shamrock Renovation and Construction Limited. Yeah. You can hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's been going for over 40 years, and uh, we do new construction, renovations, commercial, <clears throat> and a lot of work with Sean Hogan. A pleasure <laughs> to work with. Yeah, that looks like a lovely deck you did for him there, plus a bedroom yeah. extension, plus who knows what else. All right, welcome. Sean, while you're up, why don't you tell us a bit about uh, what you're up to? I can go on with master bathrooms, privacy fences, uh, all kinds of stuff they've done for me. So great work. <laughs> I am a lawyer. Thanks very much. You're welcome. I'm a lawyer, but people like me anyway most of the time. Uh, have an office in Surrey and we do uh, a lot of real estate based stuff which is why I'm working tonight 
and uh, we do uh, subdivisions, mortgages, purchases, sales, as well as uh, business, uh, buying and selling a business, corporate commercial contracts. And then when things go bad, we have a litigation department for those that want to sue each other. And the O'Rourke's have never had to use my litigation department. No. <laughs> That's good news. Good news. So Vassy, good to see you. Do you want to uh, tell us a, little bit, a bit about yourself? Okay, I'm I'm from the Semiamo Rotary Club, and I'm um, going to be chairing membership for the new year. So, which was suggested, I attend uh, these meetings, and I've been enjoying them. I'm a holistic nutritionist, uh, just basically practicing on myself and family and friends, and um, and kind of supporting my two boys through their. Um, the crazy year that we've had in their financial planning practice, just um, mm -hmm. playing a support role just to make sure they're attending all their meetings and getting fed well and, um, and keeping happy. So, and I've been keeping busy with um, whatever I can with the uh, Rotary related stuff. Right, right. Thank you all. Um, so let me uh, show you what the uh, networking site looks like. And if you go on to Rotary Networking Plus, uh, this will be uh, one of the pages that shows up. Uh, there's different banners that cross as you see here. And then right underneath the banner uh, and the search bar here is they have featured listings which change over every few hours really. Uh, and then if you go a little lower down, you'll see all the different categories and uh, we were open to creating any, cate any category at all, really, uh, whatever a, a particular Rotarian would like to do. So when you're here, uh, you can check, click on the site to Jessica's help desk, for instance, and then her page shows up. <laughs> and we've got lots of pictures of Jessica here. The, the people that we uh, buy the platform from, eDirectory they're called, they came in and made some uh, adjustments where they put the picture that's up top down here and whatnot. And I guess they wanted to brighten it up a bit more. I don't know, but uh, we have no control over that. So we try and uh, work with what they allow us to work with. So that would be a typical listing. And then you could call or you could go to her email address um, and you would find that uh, you could get more information as you would with anybody. So if you're up here and you want to do a little searching and you put in something like construction, uh, whoops, I guess taking the J off end would help. Uh, there's a category for construction and we can search for it and just see if anybody shows up there. And there's a few people that are listed. Uh, and any, any Rotarians in anything related to construction or engineering related to construction will show up. And then you can click on and go to the site and, uh, and you'll find out a little more about what they're doing and away you go. So that's basically the way the, uh, the site is constructed. Now, if somebody wants to go in and register, it's very simple. You just hit this, how to register with us or list with us. And you come to this page here and it gives you the option of either downloading a Word document and filling it out or this gem of a fillable PDF document. And it just comes up like that. You click on it and you can put in your information and, um, and save it. And then what you do is simply, you can see it's the name <clears throat> of the Rotarian, the club, their business name, type in category of business, some other contact information, uh, and then there's a place where you can put in a few lines about your business, and then you can go down and you can put in a fuller description there. And then some keywords that will catch the essence of what you do. And then there's some room for additional things there if you like. And then you simply just uh, email that to us and we'll use that <clears throat> to get into the site and uh, build your, your listing. Uh, and it's really not that complicated. Some people get that form and they fill it out longhand. Uh, and it's harder for us to transfer the information over. Uh, 
but it's still just fine. So you download the document, fill it out and send it in. It's fine, it works just as well. Uh, so anything filled out on the computer is a big help. And, and that's how the listing is created. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to uh, go and see if I can find, I'll show you what the back end looks like. This is where I get to do some work. And so let's go to uh, Buckley Hogan, see if they show up here. Uh, no, they don't. So they can't, maybe I should spell it properly. Let's try putting Hogan in there and search. There it is. So the listing will come up. You need to and switch that, screens, Dennis. You're, you're still focused on, on the first Shamrock. One. Oh, I still on Shamrock? Yep. Okay, let me, let me take care of that. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment here. And I'm going to come back here. And I will do this and we'll try it. Here I mean, we are. I like him enough, but it's my advertising for heaven's sake. I know. Let's try it. No, that's not it. That's a different one again. Let's get out of there. Okay, let's see where you guys went here. There we are. How's that? Is that you can see that now? You guys no, are still sure. screen sharing. All right, I'm going to take you off and I'll go back in here. And here we are. This will do it. How's that? Yeah. There we go. All right, so this is back end. And uh, what we would do is to edit, uh, we go into the site and take that information that's filled out on the form and transfer it in here so that it, uh, and load up the pictures and whatnot. We want um, each person to send us that completed form, but we're also looking for a headshot, head and shoulder shot, and we're looking for the logo of the, uh, of the business. So that we can include all of those items in the, uh, in the listing. Um, and that way we can, uh, Make sure we do a good job. So basically, uh, that's all that's involved with getting into the site. Any questions about that? I have a question. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of noticed there were some keywords uh, on the previous screen. Right. Is that part of the PDF that we fill out, or do you? It do is. That? It is. It's part of the. It is part of the uh, the PDF, Nash, um, and. Did you, um, let's go and find your, uh, let's find your site and take a look and see if you have those, that information in there. Okay, so we're back here. Let's go to the home page and let's try, bring up your first name and see if you show up. And there you are. So we'll go to your site. So that's it. So there's Nash's site. Um, does it take you to a website also? It does. There's visit website. Okay. And it should take you right there. And some people put little uh, videos on their site. Others will put, uh, you know, whatever, but yeah. So you will have in there, you definitely have some words that, um, were uh, appropriate for your business. You would have given us those at the time. Okay. And so if I wanted to revamp that with a new picture and new captions, I would fill out that form and then resend it to you? That's all you have to do. Okay. Yeah. You just have to uh, uh, send it. In fact, I'm going to send you an email probably before too long inviting you to do that very thing because some of our <clears throat> some of our sites have been uh, out of date now for a while okay. and it would be good for them to, this is sort of the, the first page I would come to in my, uh, in my work on the back end. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's see if I can bring you up here now and we'll just see what your words are. Uh, there you are, superstar. We'll edit you. And we go in here, try not to go too quick. You see your keywords there awards, recognitions, okay. trophies, etc. So it's all there. Thank you. There you are. So yeah, I'm going to uh, send out a note before long um, and invite all the listers, we have about 164 of them, um, to update their material. And then I was going to ask you, Nash and Deirdre and Brian, if we were to 
uh, Sean, even if we were to have a an opportunity for 25 of the people, I'm thinking of a screen, 25 of the people on the site to get together and network a bit once in a while, maybe changing it over, would that be of interest? So that other Rotarians who are in business on the site could hear about you and, and uh, that sort of thing. You just nod your head, Deirdre. I'd be interested, yes. Yeah, okay. I think it would be a good idea and it would take the value of the site up a bit. Now, Vasi, you don't have your holistic uh, nutrition uh, info on there. It'd be good for you to list that so people who want information on that could contact you. Okay, I will. Thanks. So you just go to the site and follow that, what I was doing there. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's just that simple. Uh, the history of the site, it started in Sean Hogan's year. I was uh, the governor-elect and I was sort of crawling over top of him to get, to get busy on the site or on the job. And he let, together we started this, uh, this site and, uh, and he's done a lot of work in the actual back end of it over time. So uh, he's doing other things now. <clears throat> we have somebody else helping us out. Um, but that's been going quietly for a few years. A lot of people haven't heard of the site, uh, but I think that's my fault. I've been distracted doing other things and I'm gonna smarten up and get busy uh, getting the site in front of people. And the other thing I wanna do is we'll get people on the site networking so that we know what each other does. We'll do that. And we'll also um, promote it more with Rotarians. I'd like Rotarians in the clubs to have Rotary Networking Plus business directly in front of them so they can go there when they want to do business. If I want to do a reno, I'm going to go to the site or if I need a lawyer or I want to get some uh, stuff to give away as part of a, a promotion, I'm going to get a hold of Nash and, uh, or talk to Vassie about my health or whatever. So we'll promote the site more uh, with the members. The other thing is no cost. This is value added. You get to do this at no cost the district uh, picks up the cost of the site and we get the odd person who donates. One of the clubs, Sidra Willie donated some money to us. It helps us do some work we're gonna do to update the site a bit. So um, Deirdre. There you are. Okay. Can you hear me now? Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. It's also a great advantage when we have new members, especially young members, to know that they can promote yeah. their business as well as give to community and uh, meet new people. Right. Yeah, I agree. And I, I see a lot of young yeah. business people joining uh, networking clubs and they pay a lot of money to network and they don't get much out of it really. Uh, whereas we offer mentorship, we can offer... Uh, opportunities to give back to the community. Rotary has a lot to offer people who want to, I mean, we don't want people joining Rotary to promote their business. It's not going to work very well. But if you join Rotary and you want to be a Rotarian, I think you should also be able to promote your business. If you see what I'm saying, your Rotarian commitments first, the business part second. Uh, in the history of Rotary for a long time, it was poo poo to talk about business at all. That has completely changed. Rotary is open for business. The higher ups in, in the organization to say, you go for it, you guys, you help each other out, support your businesses. So uh, we're, on, we're on track. All right, any other questions at all before we, uh, this is gonna be the shortest uh, Fiesta membership talk of the, of the month. It's only gonna be about half an hour. Go ahead, Penny. I just wondered if that Rotary Networking Plus, uh, you have to sign into it and what the YouTube address is to go see the other the other meetings? Uh, good question. Uh, we'll get Al to tell you the YouTube address. Al, do you know what that is? I don't. I think district5050.org has a link to it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I will. I think we're going to send out a link through Pat. Pat Bond will be sending out a big link soon about all the <laughs> sessions as well. It's true. The other thing, Penny, you could do is just go YouTube. Go to YouTube and put district5050 there. It'll probably take you right to it. Okay. I wish yeah, I actually, this would have actually, been good. I was just going to say this would have been good when I was doing my bed and breakfast, but I now I, now I do pottery. Would that be something that you absolutely, would... okay. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You sign up. There's an artist on the, on the online Lana 
Lana Hart, and uh, it'd be great. Just put yourself in there, whatever you want to call it. Give us the information. I'll put you up on the site. Nash, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say District uh, 5050 website definitely has all the links for the uh, all the sessions that we've had. Right. Okay, good. There's your there's your other answer. Perfect. All right. Any other questions or concerns? So Nash, don't wait for me. You just go ahead and upgrade the material on the form. Send me some new pics, and we'll upgrade your your uh, your item on the site. Will do. Thank you. All right, Bassie. Anything you want to add before we go away? Okay. And O'Rourke's are good. So Al, I think that we'll just shorten it up, and uh, people who are who are tuning in will get a quick feel for the site. And um, Sean, you want to add anything about your uh, your practice there? Your you do a lot of different things there, real estate in particular. Wills, uh, I'm good. I'm here if you know. Oh, we do rotary wheels. Yes. So we still so we have the uh, the uh, package that we do. We're a number of lawyers through the district did this. I'm not sure how many are still doing it, but anyone who agrees to donate a minimum of I think it's 10,000 US dollars to the Rotary Foundation. Uh, we do the wills for 50 bucks for a husband and wife with powers of attorney. So it's part of their estate, service, right? Service that a number of, uh, of lawyers, attorneys, and notaries have been offering through our district. So if anyone's interested in that, we're certainly uh, willing to help you get your wills done and uh, help you make a donation to the foundation when you're gone. Okay. That's that program still in place. I'm glad to hear that. That's good. And I've done uh, three, uh, three or four Rotarians just the last couple of months. Right, right. Good. Well, we should uh, get that word out there a little more. I'm going to screen share with you again briefly here before we go. And I'm going to show you. Um, let's see if we can get back here. I don't know what that is. Um, and I'm going to just show you how the site has changed in the few moments we've been on the line here. You'll see it just how it rotates through the whole group of new folks that uh, are being highlighted. Um, and then the, all the Rotary Clubs are listed here as well. So if you go to, I'm just, I know it's hard to watch somebody scrolling here. I'm just going to go down to, um, let's see here. If you're in a club and you list, your club will be included here. And so if you want to uh, figure out who in your club is doing whatever, Chilliwack After Hours, for instance, you just click on. And the people in that club who are listed are will come up. And you can see if there's anybody there you particularly want to work with. Um, and that's just another way of uh, trying to support Rotarians either next door or in another club or, or whatever. So, so check it out. If you're not on there, get on. And uh, if you are, let's update your site and we're, we'll be good to go. So thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, the other thing I was going to ask you before we go is do you have any other suggestions we could uh, take to improve things, to make the site more valuable to the Rotarians? Any suggestions are welcome. There we I think are. Um, I was just going to suggest just briefly looking at it. I'd like to spend some more time, but uh, if we added some more graphics, um, like you know how we were going between each different club and whatnot, right? Uh, make that a little bit more graphical rather than just the same image over and over and over. Right. Okay. I like the sound of that. That I'm not sure how much of that's within our control. But I think we could explore that because it looks a bit uh, it looks a bit boring right now. It does. <laughs> and when they do offer a graphic, they tend to uh, have their own canned graphics that don't even relate. Like I'd love to uh, get a graphic that actually uh, represents one of the people that have listed with us in that area. So under contracting, maybe they have the shamrock there. So if you look down here. Uh, even the like accounting bookkeeping, they're very generic. But I'll see if we can't get a picture of maybe one of the listings in there. That would make it a lot more attractive, wouldn't it? Yes. So for example, where it says automobile collision, 
Yeah. We could put like maybe a couple of cars or something or a body shop, something like that, right? Right, right. And the service part would be like a re repair facility. Um, th there's a lot of sites that sell package deals of photographs also that we can buy online. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know who would do the maintenance. Like, do we, are we under contract with these guys to make the changes or can we make them ourselves? I think we can do quite a bit. And I will talk to the tech guy who works with us about that. And let me see what I can do to, uh, to get some improvements there. Okay. Yeah, good point. <laughs> All right. Well, if that's- uh, Dennis? Yes, Brian. Hello? Yes. I think you have it muted. No, no you're okay. okay. Go ahead. Can, can, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dennis, do, have you have you any Rotor Act people in there? Any Rotor Act clubs or Rotor Act members? No. Have you Not got right any now. of them in there? No. But it would be a good idea to get him in there. Well, would it be would it, well because a lot of them have businesses and new businesses and okay. We'll put an invitation out to the Rotorac Club. Good idea. Good idea. A lot of them right, are, yeah. are students and whatnot, but there are some in business. It'd be good to get them in there and then promote them along the lines of what Deirdre was saying. <clears throat> Yeah, I was under the impression that yeah. Rotaracts were mostly um, up to senior secondary school students. So I can't really see them having too many businesses. Now, Rotaract know. now is, uh, well, uh, was up to 30, Nash, up to 30 oh. years of age. Yeah. And now it's open ended. You could yeah, be a Rotaractor okay. if you wanted to be. Oh, okay. I think, Nash, you're, you're thinking of Interactors, which is up like 14 to 18. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Interactors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You might get the the odd little entrepreneur yeah. there that we could. Uh, we we had at the at the last fundraiser. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at the fundraiser that we had at the shredding, we had three of them came to help out there, and they were very good. Okay. Thank you for that. We'll uh, we'll check it out. All right. Anything else for the good of Rotary, as the saying goes? Well, Janet, thanks for uh, Penny. Thanks oh. for joining us as well. Nash and Deirdre and Brian and Vassy um, and Al. Thanks thank a lot. You. And of course, uh, Sean. Good to have you in the background there. Yep, and thank you, Dennis, for hosting thanks this. Thanks very much, Dennis. This is just time. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Guys, all the best, and uh, we'll be in touch. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.